that's Thark. My first ever Lotus 49 race. Difficult, hard. Green, green, green. No, I'm gonna flag him! <laughs> All righty then, Grip TV Nation, welcome on in to Grip TV Hangout, episode number 11. I am joined with none other than KR Outlaw. There he is. And What's we got on, Air, Air Messies here. That's John. And oh my goodness, look who it is. It's Jess Baroni in a Grip TV Hangout. Look at him. And we also there. have Jay Plays. I'm Matt Malone. Here we are. We're going to be taking your questions at hashtag GripTVLive and at GripTVLive on the Twitter. Make sure you guys head on over to the Facebook page. Give it a like. Find the videos of past broadcasts and hangouts at the Grip TV Live YouTube. So here we are, guys. We just got done with the Nation Endurance League race yesterday. How are you guys feeling? Good to see you. And what a good time that was, too. Yeah. That yeah. Endurance League. Yeah. A lot of people in a good good turnout, good race. That was amazing. I, I'm uh, very delighted to see that many people from the nation that joined that. So that was very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it yeah, was pretty I awesome. And, and, and Jess Baroni was there. Jess Baroni, our newest member to the Grip TV team page. Jess Baroni, how are you? And uh, for people that don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm, I'm excellent, Matt. Thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> Well, to start from the very beginning, uh, <laughs> my parents met. How many met flowers at, did your mom and dad receive from their first date? Uh, I don't. Uh, they, uh, they don't like flowers. No. But they, their very first place they met and they laid eyes upon each other was none other than Michigan International Speedway. <laughs> what? True story. True story. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then they got married and stuff, and then I came out, and I lived in Finland for four years when I was like five until I was really? nine. I learned the language. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot how to speak Finnish, though, like completely. So racing and, is in uh, your blood. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's when I watched Formula One a lot, and uh, <laughs> I became a big Kimmy fan. And I was like, Oh, you Kimmy, go Kimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you so you grew up and then you got into sim racing somehow. How the heck did that go about? Um, well, back when I still had poopy internet, uh, I couldn't watch Twitch streams or anything, or even I couldn't even play iRacing online or anything. So I just watched empty boxes videos and stuff. I found those. I found those somehow through the vast tunnels of the internet ah the tunnels and, uh, yes. yes that's that's what uh and that's how i stumbled upon grip tv and everything so you never were into the console racers or oh i had i think i had forza for like i i played forza a bit i just like it more and more <laughs> <laughs> so on your stream uh you eat a lot of food and you race a lot what what type of races do you do uh, a little bit of everything uh Right now, uh, I, I'm going for the Alien Award. So ah. technically, I have all the cars that I've won with, except for the old F1 car, because the only series that runs that is the Pro Series. But it's going to get retired before the next season, so I should have the award by, like, the 30th or so. Are you just going to wait think. it out? Good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've seen for Jake right in there, the forums about that. Congratulations for that, by the way. That yeah. is pretty amazing. It's hard enough to awesome. win in one car, let alone fucking all of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, nice job, man. That's a hell of a, and I and you got your win for the um, was it the Lotus Forty Nine and that was at the Nordschleife. Yes. That yeah, that's amazing. That was week two, uh, this season. That was pretty amazing. I saw that. So the, yeah, the Alien Award. What do you think about that, JP? He's got you. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. JP See, being speaking the, of JP. I mean, I don't want to point out embarrassing mistakes, but uh, didn't you blow your engine in the Mazda yesterday? I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> a guy going for pro license <laughs> blows the Mazda engine, the rookie car. What hey. happened there? Uh, well, the car just uh, couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah. 
Nah, I don't know what happened. I was actually, like, in my opinion, I was driving somewhat okay or, or on my own pace, and I did not like uh, overread the engine, but it, it just blew up. I think it it was rigged, race. It was rigged. Someone, uh, <laughs> someone tampered my engine in there. Well, we, to couldn't, say. we couldn't believe it when we were commentating on you were actually able <laughs> to get from the first corner all the way around down into the pits with the engine spewing yeah, everything and the kitchen sink all over the track. And you made it all the way around. It's like, how yeah. the hell did you do that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the engine was still running. So I thought, that, OK, let's, uh, let's uh, clip back to the pits and uh, take a free repair from there. So I actually made uh, two pit stops in the race. I was saving uh, fuel after the first pit stop. So I made uh, two pit stops and uh, took fuel only once. So that was the uh, best strategy ever. In the yeah, race. that's what John D. Allen did. He won the race. He only had the pit once. Bunch of cheaters out there. Man, Matt, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, it was fun watching John come from the back and make it all the way uh, to the front. Yeah. Uh, so wrong on so many yeah, levels. pretty good. It was fun he to see was. out there, though, JP and the Mazda, because JP doesn't really race the Mazda too much. Uh, so that was yeah. a lot of fun. And uh, that was it, actually, it was actually amazing that uh, on the first half of the race, I was like, uh, how the hell uh, I'm so slow, where I can find speed? And after the pit stops, I decided to go save fuel. And I was actually faster when I was saving fuel. I was like, hmm, maybe really? there's something. It's... <laughs> Well, yeah, so it, alone. Yeah. Talking about that, what happened with you? Why? Why did you suddenly turn that into two stops? Uh, or what well, was you thinking? Why did you go in so early? I, uh, because I had to get fuel. I, um, I, I knew I needed one more stop because, for some reason, I, I tried to save a little bit of fuel in the beginning, but I needed two stops. It was designed for two stops. Is the fuel limitation? But All right. So did you guys stop, forget to tell in. John D. Allen that? Yeah. I don't know how he saved so much fuel. I, I really. Did, well, first of all, he didn't do a pace lap. Right? Did you He's, take your first stop when you were like oh, first stop on a fuel? Didn't do a pace lap. I, my first stop was when I was on fumes. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much closer I could have got, but I still well, needed a half a, a half a gallon. That's all I needed. All right. So John D. Allen did not do a pace lap. But he still turned out another two laps after. Uh, it, was, it was more yeah. than that. It was like I, three or four. I don't yeah. know, man. I don't know. I guess I don't know he how was he did just it. that fast that he was just chilling. I mean, <laughs> right? he had to have been lifting so early, rolling into the throttle so slowly, mm. and still maintaining speed. Yeah, just keeping that, his momentum. Yep. Yeah. I, I think He's what it good, was man. is that he was keeping up with a lot of the slower Mustangs and he was able to draft with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how he saved a lot of that fuel. Yeah, the race was broadcast, and uh, good job by uh, all the the broadcast crew. Which John, you were in there, and Kr was in there, and that was a good time. And we had uh, yeah, I came Jess in late. Baroni. Yeah, John showed up late. Jess okay. Baroni came in and uh, <laughs> was there. He was our resident driver slash broadcaster. It was nice to have a a driver in the broadcast booth. And uh, Jess Peroni did a great job himself. He took that car from uh, his team car. He got into it. They were 10th. When he got out, they were 5th. So made up some spots. Yeah, very nice. And uh, great nice. camera angles. Dustin, that's Rank Up Gamers running cameras. Looks like a great broadcast. But uh, that was event round one of the Grip TV Nation Endurance Race. And uh, round two be coming up. So how much and was I, your ass twitching over the last 10 laps in Malone, or the last 30 I, I, minutes when you only had one incursion to go? Oh, yeah, I went like 45 <laughs> minutes without any incidents. Yeah, 20, the, the limit was 22 incidents. You only got one free repair for a two-hour, 40-minute race. So I, I like that. But, yeah, I got too many uh, incidents. We were, we were talking about that, how it was pretty much just perfect because we were getting down to the end of the race and people would just disappear. <laughs> and, and you know that, that that's kind of how you know it was a perfect endurance race because when you're getting to the end and you're on 21 20 incidences you don't want to do anything wrong you, yeah people started disappearing it was great and <laughs> i would like to uh I, I think you owe me a thank you mr malone because i threw out that bet out there i feel i helped Helped your concentration. <laughs> well, that's true because when I somebody starts throwing money around there, then things get serious. And uh, it was a double-edged bet, though. 
If if you if you got to the end, he give you twenty dollars when he goes and meets you, and if somebody punts you off, he gives them ten dollars. That was the double edge. <laughs> uh, we had a double agent. Oh man, <laughs> Jesper, you look hungry. That's what Mike Mason says. What uh, you got on the menu today? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll have to get groceries. There's just some oranges <laughs> and bananas <laughs> in the fridge. Oh man. So, um, yeah, so guys, if um, I think we got, I don't know how many uh, pit stalls we're going to have available next for the next event for the uh, endurance uh, elite race, but um, if you missed this one or we can get people signed up, get that full grid going. So uh, it's on the uh, forums, all the info there. Was but, it the uh, New Hampshire? Uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire. Yes. Yep. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. But there's a, an even bigger race coming up, and that is the Daytona 24-hour race. Oh, well, you gotta find your teammates. You gotta get locked and loaded. What uh, you guys looking forward to that? The 24-hour race? Yeah, I, can't I wait. am. Yeah, that I should am. be a lot of fun. I was uh, gonna join the uh, Grip TV team, but apparently I have to keep the car on track for longer than an hour. So. <laughs> well, that's I'm most out. of us screwed, Ben. In all honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, KR is not on my team. I'm going to have to find a new teammate. <laughs> I'm still debating whether or not to do it. It's like, because I'm going to have to miss five hours, just over five hours of it anyway for work. Um, so yeah, me too. I don't know whether to do it or not. I'm sort of sat on the fence. It'll be like last year when I just sat on the fence, not sure if I should do it or not because of work, and then it'll get to the day, and I'll be like, I really want to do it, but now it's too late. So, hey, yeah. John, I'll tell you what. John, you, me, and Tubbsy will tackle this one since we can't be on Mr. Matt Malone's team. There's Probably no way in hell money. I could ever talk to you both for 24 hours. My brain is fucking mush. You ain't got to talk, <laughs> talk to us. Man, I'd stab my ear holes if I had to talk to you for 24 hours. Anyway, you'd be thoroughly entertained and enjoying it, and you'd have all sorts of new words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. If I was going to do it anyway, I'd do it with people from the channel just to get others involved because, you know, they're the guys who make the channel anyway. So There yeah. you go. That's a good idea. Do you guys have a car you're going to use? Uh, a Beamer. I've been given I've been given a super secret Beamer set that I'm not allowed to share. Well, I can share, uh -oh. but I'm not allowed to see where it's come from. <laughs> <laughs> it came from the Super Spy. And JP will be racing with Core, is that correct? Yep, we're racing with the Core. It's going to be quite interesting race weekend because the uh, gathering of uh, tweakers, endurance races on the same day. Uh, we are racing four hours at Spa. Uh, same at day. the same time, so it's uh, overlapping a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're fielding uh, two cars: one team for the DP and one team for uh, GT3. And uh, I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start the Daytona race, and uh, then I <laughs> then I got quite uh, bad bad luck uh, with the driver turn, uh, driver shift. I'm gonna drive. Uh, I think it was like uh, 5 a.m. for me. So, <laughs> and I have wow. to double stint that, so. Oh, that'll be all right. Though you can do the first stint and then just go to bed. Well, I can't because I have the gathering of tweakers endurance series between those driver stints. I'm going to drive two hours in there with the DP. Oh, God. <laughs> Switching cars, cool. too, huh? Yeah. I will be sleeping on the Sunday, then. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna purposely get up early just so I can watch and see what, what sort of state you're in because that's gonna be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. we'll see. The meltdown is gonna be awesome. Yeah. There's gonna be many hot blasts and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna just be very quiet in there. <laughs> oh, and your wife comes out and slaps you if you get too loud and swear. <laughs> that's gonna be brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is a question about KR's beard, and uh, any tips on growing a monster beard? Uh, yes, the don't best tip it. I can give you is don't shave. No, don't shave. <laughs> yeah, don't shave. Do you, do you use no, conditioner? Uh, actually, yes, I do. When, uh, when, like, everyone knows the first week into it, no issues, and then it starts to get itchy after that. Uh -huh. um, one day, someone told me, just dab, not a lot of conditioner, but just a touch of conditioner into it makes your beard feel real soft, real nice, and the itch goes away. And, uh... -huh. uh it was uh, it was the best relief. Putting so there in that you condition. go. That's a good tip. Yeah. So, 
basically growing a beard gives you a vagina so you've got to talk about how to keep it nice and trim it's, it's like as if i've just jumped into like a, a, a shop full of women talking about how they look after each other seriously guys oh, john 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 you want me to paint your fingernails next yes <laughs> please, thank you. i was feeling left out <laughs> that's this what grip tv is here for Oh boy. The stream is brought to you by the Renegade Conditioner. Keep your beard nice and soft. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Just goes the back and dips it in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a few leeches in there. Just put a little bit of that conditioner. That's right. That's right. Now, Jesper, you, 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 you don't have a beard, but uh, do, are, are you shaving yet? Uh, yes, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting a little perv stash here. Like, oh. And you're in the kitchen. Do you, do you use butter? You, some of the, the soft spread will work too, as well for a nice close shave with a uh, straight straight blade. That's oh, yeah, what I do. I'd, yeah, I like to warm it up a little bit first in the in the microwave. And, there oh, you go. Feels, feels so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then rub some crackers that. on it. I'm gonna wake up in a minute, and all of this is gonna be like a really bad dream. When I'm gonna say, <laughs> "Shit, I'm gonna have to cook dinner again." <laughs> oh man. This 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 hangout is is all sorts of weird. <laughs> it's the best <laughs> hangout ever. It's getting weird. <laughs> getting weird. Oh, but by the way, I just uh, checked out the uh, new hand fryer. It's uh, having a sixty grip stalls. It has uh, the shared pit stalls oh, yeah. in there. Ah. So. Yeah, the shared pit stalls, man. I'm loving it for hosted yeah. races, for some it's of awesome. these special events. <laughs> I'm digging it. it. Makes the uh, hosted races a little bit more fun. Everybody can get in there. Um, PC Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while we're on about that, right? More cars on track and stuff. Yeah, this, this new netcode is fucking brilliant. I don't know what they've done, but it's an absolute masterstroke. Yeah. I don't see lag contact anymore. I don't see people jumping about into walls and back and forth and doing all sorts of stuff. It's brilliant. Best improvement I, ever. I see uh, a lot of happy jumping cars though yeah. on the track. I'm getting yeah. times fours when there's nothing happening. Oh, it's great. Yeah, me and uh, Flisco. Yeah, me and Flisco will race, and usually what are just zero X's or they don't even pop up on screen now are four X's. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, everyone <laughs> says I'm blinking now. Like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, Malone, you were actually blinking in the uh, broadcast yesterday. Yeah. I was like, man, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. I have to clean my tubes. I had a lot of stacked in GT3 that you could basically almost fit in another GT3 car between us. Yeah. It was that big. And also, I think uh, it uh, showed up, showed up on, on the broadcast too that uh, people were like, uh, that people's uh, tires were smoking on that uh, left hander kink in there before the uphill straight. Uh, uh, no, we had a lot of tire smoke on the, the last turn for the front stretch too. A lot of yeah. inside tire smoke. It was uh, I, the first few times I saw it, I thought it was people trying to, you know, just break loose. But when it happened lap after lap, almost every car is like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I do love the uh, the smoke and the particles, though. I turned my particles to maximum in the graphics. I'm telling you, man, when somebody's in front of you and they put a wheel, well, like one wheel off into the dirt, it's coming at you right at your windshield. It's pretty good. Yeah, the, yeah the, exactly, uh, the, John. These updates are pretty sweet. <laughs> it uh, is cool. I, uh, it is cool. Um, the track change over the two hours from the broadcast, two hours, 40 minutes, that was pretty cool. Um, John D. Allen, and I think you met that, were talking about how it rubbered and you could feel it change. It was a fast track, yeah. And it got faster, it seemed like. Yeah. It, yeah, uh, was, it was good. I, I I am I am a big big fan of the track changes, not just on a road course, but also on the oval. Because on an oval now, you can really stick a car on the outside and actually pull off a pass where before it probably was fifty fifty. <clears throat> yeah, like um, I just wish I wish like for the sprint races that they accelerated it a bit. If it could just be like you know times ten or something or times four. So by the end of the race, they would be really really rubbered in and there'd oh. be uh, marbles everywhere, you know. Don't they, don't they do it in the real life that uh, when they are when there are like people racing during the week, they don't clean up the track; they just clean up uh, at the end of the week. Yes. So it should be like that in the eye racing too. That 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 state just uh, goes throughout the week, and when the track do changes, then it's a clean state for everyone. And every practice, every open practice qualification is done in there. It adds up the proper. 
Yeah, but if they did that, everybody wouldn't race until the end of the week when there's all the rubber down and everything is awesome. I don't know. Well, that's when the strength of field races would be. Yeah. So, mm. I mean, that, that works anyway. Hang on, I'll be right back. KROBU. Accelerate back. would be my, 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 what do you call it? What's the word? Pre preferred choice. You know, you start, yeah. you start at the beginning is green, and then by the end of it, it's like as if you were running like four hours on it or something, you know? It'd be mm. perfect. Yeah. It would be uh, at least. Uh, I don't want to it would be nice it. if you can, if you could adjust it uh, for the hosted session that you can accelerate in there. Yeah, that's all you can do with the hosted, isn't it? Is just basically change it to like fully rubbered in at the start. Yeah, I do that for all mine. It's great fun. It's like yeah. having sticky race tracks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I know we're really eye racing heavy here, but we're gonna. Uh, supposedly, there's some been some updates to uh, Game Stack Car Extreme. Would you like to go over that, Jesper? Uh, well, yes. Uh, so, uh, GameStock Car Extreme, uh, they <clears> recently <throat> had like a like a Kickstarter kind of thing where um, everyone who wanted to support it, they could support it more for more updates, like kind of like how iRacing is, except like they just asked for all the money at once. And uh, wasn't that Kickstarter actually for the new Stock Car Extreme version? They're coming up with the new uh, simulation on the 2017. Yeah, it's it's actually coming out this month. Um, it's just GameStock Car Extreme with uh, some updates like uh, DirectX. I think it's DirectX. I think they're still on DirectX 9. I don't know. But they're yeah. doing all sorts of track rubbering and upgrades, uh, new cars and all kinds of stuff. And they there are a few stretch goals that they hit. Like one that I'm really excited for is uh, Super Trucks, which is, you know, oh. the, those big trucks that you like yeah. hit ramps and it it's really awesome I'm looking for, forward to that and there's all kinds of I think they're adding V8 supercars and all, uh, a bunch of tracks as well that they don't have like I think they're adding VIR which is uh, which you guys know from iRacing but a lot of sims don't have VIR so that's a good plus uh, yeah and that and if you already have Game Stock Car Extreme it already or the new title is called Automobilista, and so if you already have Game Stock Car Extreme in your Steam library, or you already bought it through the website, you get like you get the Automobilista for free. Oh, yeah, that was nice. I actually bought the uh, Stock Car Extreme when I saw the uh, saw the news from that, and I also actually uh, posted uh, that news on the Crypt TV Live Facebook. So hopefully, people who were interested uh, got the got the game. Mm -hmm. So they will get that two titles for one. Now and, uh, I actually I actually tried the uh, stock car extreme and uh, I had a little bit uh, hard time to set up my wheel for that, but uh, what a little I could uh, drive around in there. Uh, it was at, actually in the Montreal. Uh, it was it was quite nice, but I still need to tweak the wheel a little bit before I can fully enjoy it fully like. Uh, uh, Go and see what it's uh, made up. <laughs> now, uh, game game stack car is that is it uh, very mod heavy like uh, like an R factor would be, or is it mostly from the developer of these uh, releases? Uh, there's a lot of default content, but it's actually based on the R factor engine. They have complete okay. access to it. Uh, that's what the fundraiser was for that as well, so they could uh, get the licensing rights to the engine and they could tweak it further from. Uh, Image space or whatever, whoever de develops our factor. Sure. Okay. And it's really moddable as well. There's like a, you can take uh, old R factor mods, which there's like thousands of them, and you can port them over to this. Hmm. That's cool. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting. And how is uh, Dirt Rally coming along? Any new updates there? You thrash it around a little bit there, don't you, Jesper? Yeah, uh, it was released this year. Yeah, the last update was the full Swedish release. Rally. Yeah, yeah, the full release. Yeah, so full. <laughs> so full. <coughs> there is more coming for that, though, isn't it? Are there going to be DLCs? I believe. Oh yeah, there's more. There's more coming. 
they could definitely use a lot more stages. I've like memorized half of them. You I still feel them? I still feel a little bit cheated about that game. Uh, when they first came out, they were on about you know twelve stages, three countries. Everything is milky goodness and full of absolute wonder. And then you get in there and you find it's actually not twelve stages. It's three stages per one, and that's it. Um, <laughs> yeah, three yeah. stages broke up into four. Ah, oh, crap! I'll be right back, phone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it basically, for each of them, it's just like. Each uh, country is like two long stages, and then all the other stages are part of those stages, reversed slightly, like two thirds of the longer stage, one third of it, or like half of it, and then it's it's really similar. Okay, like a Jefferson oh. Reefers. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Same track, just in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, what uh, what else we got? We got anything coming in on the uh, Twitters? You guys can uh, tweet your questions at Grip TV Live or hashtag Grip TV Live on the Twitter. Tweet tweet. No. Come on, get in those tweets. Can't Duh, see get in so far. So, what are you guys going for uh, championship points today? Today's uh, strength of field day. <sighs> I think oh, I may try and do a Cadillac race. A cat. Hey, I'm telling you, man, Cadillacs this week is a lot of fun at Road Atlanta. Yeah, I'm not gonna safe. get any points worthwhile, but uh, it'd be nice. Uh, every time I've done a Cadillac race, it's been you know late at night. It's been eight people in the race; ah, two yeah. will crash out right away. So it'd be nice to get into a race with full field. So I'm not really going for points, but just the the nice full field. Yeah, yeah I'm trying nice. to I'm trying to go for points in Lotus 49s and Silver mm -hmm. Crowns. The only the only thing about Lotus 49s, I have to get up if I want to do the Sunday race. Uh, I have to get up extra early for the race before the hangout. Otherwise, it it'll like uh, cross. Oh! Over. Yeah. And I just did the race yesterday, I, and I won that, and I got like 170 championship points. So I was like, ah, I'm not gonna get up early. 170? I take that, right? Yeah. I'm. I think I'm leading my division. Yeah. KR's going nice. for a top 10 in Division Nine Street Stacks. <laughs> <laughs> I nah, did do a street stock race at uh, South Boston last night, and uh, it uh, I I was real worried because in the pre-race practice I was a good half second behind off pace, and then come race uh, I'm fighting for the lead with five laps to go, and uh, yellow came out and the guy in front of me just he won it, so oh. uh, it's a good race yeah. That, come that's... In, I can, I started like ninth or tenth. And, that's uh, the uh, Class C street stock, yeah, right? Class yeah, C yeah, yeah. Street stock, yeah. That's open good, open good setups, or did they change that over no, to fixed? That, yeah, that's oh. a fixed, but uh, you know, it's a it's a street stock fixed. If you know you're missing, if you miss running the rookie street stocks, I do recommend the C street stocks because it's a good time. It's a fixed setup. You don't got to worry about it. And uh, man, I was racing uh, uh, Nick Payne. And one other guy, it was a four-way fight for the lead, and I was running second and made a move on uh, for the pass for the lead, and yellow came out, and then we had a restart. So then I was fighting third, and uh, to take the checker, we're both sideways coming up out of four, and then, and I nosed him at the line. So I ended you up nosed second. him. Yeah, <laughs> nosed him. I got my nose out there. Well, at least the uh, Class C, they uh, swapped the tracks out a little bit better than just the Rookie Series. Yeah. Rookie Series is Charlotte and <laughs> USA. Although I did have a yeah. really good USA uh, race in the street stack uh, yesterday. It was a lot of fun. On um, your uh, rookie account? Uh, no, I'm a Class D uh, oval racer now. <laughs> on my main account. Oh. oh. Something bad happened. So, uh, Bro, yeah, I, I kind of like it, actually. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that, you can have a lot of fun in the street stack. <clears throat> Is it, uh, does it have uh, these uh, uh, full course cautions in the C-class street oh, stock? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it does. Uh, in, Oval, in Oval, your uh, A, B, and C license class races have cautions. Oh. And then your D and rookie class are caution-free stuff. Is there a, because uh, imagine the street stock is quite slow over car. Yeah. Do they happen that much on the C series or C class series? Um, I've been in some races. I mean, it's it's oval. You're going to be in some races where you do three green flag laps and fifty yellow <laughs> laps, and then there's some races that 
will go green the whole way. Mm-hmm. So and it, like can it, be, it could be in the same then. week. I don't think it matters the street stocks anyway. You just keep your foot in even when the pace car comes out. You're going about pace, eye laps, eye pace and speed anyway, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like the Mazda, yeah. Just yeah, keep your foot you in. If you break 100 miles an hour, you're going fast. Yeah, talking, <laughs> uh, talking about uh, like the D-Class series, the, when I was first started out in the uh, Oval, I did a late model race, and the only one I've won was like an 896 strength of field race, and all the races before that, I was leading, and then somebody like spun out, and I was coming around like turn one or two, and I just like nailed them like a bunch of races in a row before I was able to win one. It was, <laughs> it was just insane. <laughs> we uh, we take your guys' uh, entries for wreck avoidances and overtakes and Ooh, yeah. your best Stephen Donnellys, and you can send those replay files or YouTube links to. <laughs> Uh, grip TV team at gmail.com uh, we did have some entries so if you guys yeah, want to your videos entries. we got some good stuff Ooh. here videos um, uh, most of them are from our very own Jesperoni <laughs> who had an epic an epic two weeks of racing and the first one up on the list hearkening back to the good old days of the Stephen Donnelly uh, this one is uh, pretty epic <clears throat> we are going to uh, play the video. It's the Jesper Donnelly. So if you want to play that right now, we're going to take a look at it here. He's in the trucks. All he sees is smoke. Oh, oh that's gosh. smoke. Now, what was going Looks through like your mind here? Been in one altercation. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you're doing it wrong. They're doing it wrong. Well, at that point, I already had a ton of, ton of damage, so I was just like, <laughs> I just held back off the start. I was like, well, there's going to be something happening here, you know. Five flags. It's uh, five. Five it flags. Speed, right? Five crashes a lap. Or uh, five flags getting it together. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So the there you go. That was a uh, epic Donnelly. Although from the damage from your hood, it looks like you should have done it earlier in the race as well. Uh. Yep. Yep. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> now this next one here. We all know uh, Michael Henke uh, from a uh, classic Mazda race. Is Michael Henke the uh, living pog champ? He was in a Mazda race with you there, Jesperoni. Yep. And it uh, looks like you're at Lime Rock Park. Now, they do go 20 full laps here at Lime Rock Park. And it uh, looks like Michael Henke Ooh. is leading. We're going to play the video n- now and take a look. Uh, it's, uh, they're on the, uh, front stretch here as Michael Henke, <laughs> uh, doesn't understand what the white flag or checkered flag means. He thinks the race is over and he does what every other Mazda racer would do at the end of a race, pull over. There goes Jesperoni going to complete his 20th lap. And we see Michael <laughs> Henke discovering the fact that the race isn't over quite yet. <laughs> oh, I bet wow. he was gutted. <laughs> oh, oh, I bet I remember he was that absolutely happening. gutted. Turns There's it around and gets back on track. <laughs> so that's how you beat Michael Henke in a race. Good job, Jess Brony. Thanks. Wow, <laughs> that sucks. See, the trick to that was being just really quiet on the chat. So I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he wouldn't hear me. <laughs> Don't say a damn thing. Don't yeah. when you see that, that, that relative that going. It's like uh, uh, the incident Mark Martin did. I'm gonna try that. When I see the guy in front, there's like a little way ahead, and it goes through to the white flag. I'm just gonna start congratulating him on a great race. <laughs> like, oh, man, good, race. Over. good race. Good race. Good race. Woo! You really almost had me there. All right. So the next one is once again from Jesperoni. He had an epic week. I'm telling you. This one is uh, Skip Barber's at beautiful, uh, where are we at here? This is um, Homestead, Miami. Homestead, Miami. And we'll play uh, the video n- now. It's quite a battle. This is White Flag, right? Why don't you talk us through this one? Uh, yeah, this is White Flag. So, lap before, I made a mistake and I was able to let him buy, but uh, he tried to let me, he tried to pretend to make a mistake and let me buy again, so he could get the draft and overtake me. 
But they were back there. I was just in uh, turn two. I just tried to uh, compromise his line so I could get the speed there, and I was able to uh, overtake. And I knew if I just was able to keep the inside into the hairpin that I would be able to carry more speed in there and then uh, be able to stay ahead in the straight. And and that's what I did. I mean, yeah, it's a the entire lap almost you guys are battling. And the way this track is, that final little chicane is uh, quite deadly. It's hard to get a good exit out of there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He had a run on me, but uh, he just he just hit the oval way too hard, as as we'll see here in a second. And he just has a little look in there. Uh, I I gave him enough room, I think. Yeah, you did. That was good. Yep. But then you I feel that uh, this car is really hard for me to drive because I have a tendency to uh, charge the corner a bit too much. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I, right. I had a bad run out of there. He could have he could have very well had that win. Uh, that was really close at the end. Yeah, you nice. really can't exit that chicane too wide there. The oval will just screw you up big time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The next one is a overtake and a wreck avoidance all at the same time from Steven in chat. This is a uh, Star Mazda at Interlagos. We'll play it right now. Heading into turn one at Interlagos. It is unbelievably difficult. He goes to the inside. Interlagos is a lot of fun no matter what car you're in. And that turn one, two combo right there is uh, sets up for a lot of overtakes. A lot of crashes too, but I mean, he's all over him here. And there's, uh, there's actually three cars involved in this little battle here, as we'll see from a rear chase. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he gets, he, he gets the overtake and the wreck avoidance, and that's how it's done right there. That's Steven, and that's so most he impressive. That he would have been the one getting crated. Yeah. yeah. You just have to move, uh, move yourself into the position where you win the race, and that's how you do it. <laughs> Yep. Looks like he had one too many martinis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, final one is from The HUD in chat. And it's a truck race. And it's major wreck avoidance. Let's watch it now. You can see him. Uh, this is the uh, old Daytona, I'm pretty sure, based on the uh, how bumpy it is. All you see oh, is smoke. No. Oh, That's all oh, you see. No. Is oh, my boom. God. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. perfect. I was just like Never lift. I, I like to use the phrase YOLO. You only live once. <laughs> yeah, and there it is. Those truck races. Yep. Full of the went underneath the car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he's in second. <laughs> what was that thing? It, like it looked like he had, had some kind of snow plow in front of his car. It was just <laughs> flipping the car over. <laughs> Force field, Daddy EXE. Yeah. So well, there I you go. Love the smoke. It just makes moments like that so yeah. epic. Yep. I agree. So you can send your entries to griptvteam at gmail.com. Uh, so you can uh, we can feature them on the next Hangout. You have two weeks. It's a fortnight to uh, send them in. Oi, did somebody say fortnight? <laughs> Oi. Oi. I'm Tubsy. <laughs> Tubbsy impression, perfect. Oh, flight simulator! I love me some flight simulator. You need to get a red condom and stick it on your head, and then it'd be perfect. <laughs> and just uh, in the uh, in the background, we got a the big one at Talladega. Uh, Yasin just submitted this in chat, just a YouTube video. And uh, what it is is a bunch of cars. Uh, none of them are pointing in the correct direction, and there's a lot of smoke <laughs> and chaos. Wow. Wow, that took everyone out. Oh, Look, uh, oh my goodness. It's the only one who got through it. <laughs> Epic camera uh, angles. Uh, it's better than Paul Wamsley's one a couple of weeks ago. I actually, would, one uh, car got through that. I actually would uh, wish to hear the uh, radio chatter after that uh, incident. <laughs> Man, that car didn't even get through. Everybody took contact from that. That was winner's move in there. <laughs> oh, that's a good... Uh, it's a good observation by Race Pace. Uh, Nim Cross should be sending in the clips every week. And he gets the most <laughs> clips sent to him. It'd be so awesome, hey, wouldn't speaking it? Speaking of Nim Cross, you know, with him streaming, we might 
try and jump into one of his streams and ask him if he can send some uh, some of those in. Oh look, it's uh, Jasper's butler. Huh? Jasper's <laughs> butler. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to make me a Jesper. sandwich, Jesper. Well, it's good dad, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <-er. laughs> no, and uh, uh, I, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea, Kr, to be asking Nim to be sending in clips. What are you thinking? It's not a good idea. Uh, that, that's confidential sure. information. He's got to store that away. I think he'd be very <laughs> cross if you asked that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck you know. <laughs> What's wrong, John? Really? <laughs> really? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I think Nim will be really cross if we asked him. Uh, seriously? <laughs> it's like it's like there's a pun level, right? And 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 you know, it's there's pretty good. Above that is like sort of my level where I I take things too far. And then you've got all the way down here somewhere like. In the, in the center of the earth. That's where that one came from. Below the crust of the earth? That's impossible. Yes. <laughs> Formulated by Satan himself. Oh, can... oh the worst <laughs> pun Jesus ever. Jesus die oh. on the cross. <laughs> what? He, he died from that pun. Yo, oh, Jesus. All right, so. <laughs> hey, Sinky's in chat. Hey there. Man cave. <laughs> Yeah, Nim's not allowed to share them, I think. Oh, well. Eh. Oh, oh, you wouldn't be allowed and, and, and I think this is good advice for when Nim crosses in chat for different Twitch streams. Don't don't ask him about, like, some incident you had in a race. I'm sure he, like, hates that. Like, he's trying to calm down, like, relax, like, chill, watch a stream. And everyone's like, what do you think about this replay? And what do you think <laughs> about this? And everyone's like, ah, I'm going to say, why, did, why didn't you ever... Uh, uh, get that uh, uh, taken care of. That you know, they ask him about some like protest they did. It's like, geez, just yeah. leave the man alone. <laughs> yeah, he uh, used to watch us all a lot, and he's like really dropped back off quite a lot for a while. And now he's trying to watch again. So just just cut the guy some slack, like yeah, yeah just it's chill. A, uh, Nim actually likes that uh, when uh, the streamer for itself reviews the incidents, he's trying to learn that way. Not like asking right. for him. Or yeah, if there's opinion. like something in the race that happens, you know, yeah. I, I usually get, ask his opinion. Yeah, but uh, I, uh, I I asked him for a job yesterday. I was like, "You need help on uh, determining punishments?" I said, "I'll only abuse my power a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kr, you should apply for the i racing for the community manager. Ah, uh, they wouldn't hire me. And uh, talking about which, uh, uh, I posted it on the Crypt TV Live Facebook account, but uh, iRacing is hiring now. They have uh, three different uh, job positions open. Uh, one is for a community manager. I would like to talk uh, about that with you guys uh, in a few minutes. And uh, the two job positions were for a graphic designer. And when I saw the job, job openings for the, no, not graphic designer, it was for the web designer. And when I saw the job positions open for a web designer, I was thinking that uh, hopefully someone did not get sacked off on the 13th week. <laughs> <laughs> well, supposedly, uh, wait, uh, wait a minute here, they're coming out with a brand new UI, new website, new look, all this stuff, but yet they're trying to hire a website designer? Yeah. Like, do they... Is it backwards here? Like, how do they? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> know, yeah. How do they design a whole new layout? And then maybe they just need help. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they're short-handed. Uh, I think it'd be the worst idea for anybody to work for iRacing, unless you live in Massachusetts. That's that's where I thought they needed the somebody. Maybe yeah. a lot well, of it's what, done on a line. Well, I yeah. think they were saying that's where they're based at, and you have to end up working there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, the, it, it'd be nice to be the uh, community manager. Uh, I think you got to go around, you know, make you make the racing rules and all this and that and, and you know, monitor uh, the competition. And, and I thought, yeah, that'd be great for me to do, but there ain't no way they'd hire me. I'm just I think it scrub. would be a bad job. I would not want that. No. I hope we get a good community manager that's willing to work with, like, the community and like the fans yeah. of iRacing and the members and stuff, I hope we have. I uh, hope they hire somebody good. 
Um, eh. No, see, Matt, what you want to do is you want to get on as a consultant. Yeah. That yes. way, you're 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 an independent entity, yet iRacing still pays you. Yeah, they could uh, pay us to uh, uh, stream races. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would uh, be worthwhile. We seriously need to think about trying to get an alpha account out of them, though. So, like, you know, oh, the week for early new access. Stuff. Yeah, so yeah. the week before yeah. we could showcase it. The week before it's due out. Yeah, it's either that, or they do like one forty-minute stream three times in the last week, and then Darren Ganji will put a video up where he sort of, well, like, what was it? I think it was when one of the new tracks came out. I can't even think which one it was. But he put a video up, and it was all about something else. But it had the new track in the background. <laughs> he was driving on the new track, and he never said a word about the new track. I can't remember what it was. Hmm. But they could do with the, you know, the biggest, well, it's the biggest by racing streamer network now, isn't it? By by a mile. Yeah, um, I was uh, I was thinking about that earlier. It. If we had uh, early access to uh, some of the new um, updates and stuff, what you, you might have to do is that if you get the early access, uh, okay, you know how like when well, you know maybe we'd get it for like a week beforehand, but like when new updates and everything come up and the website is down, and you know how yeah. like you can barely get into like a test session. If like we had early access, and then like the day that um, they would have website maintenance, you would have to load up into a test session for that like that day's stream to be able to show the new content when everyone else is waiting for iRacing to come up. You could still be in like a test session testing out the new content. Yeah, because yeah. you, know, you would have I already had it downloaded and ready to go, and you already had. Well, it. just imagine that we would have been able to stream for two days solid this this time with the downtime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And uh, with the with their uh, uh, plans, uh, getting a community manager, it would be nice uh, to have the community manager to ask uh, uh, answer the questions people might have in the chat. Sure, but uh, it just feels that uh, iRacing wants to do the things by their own. But uh, yeah. yeah, would anybody actually ever want to be the community manager though? You, you, you know, as streamers, we get asked like the same questions over and over again a lot of the time, and some questions that are just so bizarre that you know. And we're just streamers now. You imagine if you were an actual community manager, the amount of crap questions you're going to get, and the amount of times you're going to have to repeat yourself. It's like, saw that. You have to have a fact sheet or something. Just keep linking <laughs> people to it and adding yeah. to it. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's, I can't imagine. Every button on your keyboard is a macro for a different question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and most of the time, even if you think you know about the new content or you think you know, you, you won't be able to answer all the questions anyway. You would just don't know the answer or some of it's yeah. still in development or whatnot. Mm. But, um, yeah. yeah, it would be nice I to uh, get that good stuff in there early. I know iRacing has a FAQ website, but it's like they didn't they made it like when they released it and it really needs to be updated. Like a lot of the driving school videos and stuff link to it, but it's just like stuff that should be like on the front page for new people, you have to like dig a little bit. Yeah. So a lot of the questions uh, you know so it's yeah. like really confusing for someone new. Jess Baroni, did you know that there's a lumberjack in your kitchen making breakfast? Uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I thought that was funny. <laughs> is, he, is he making you some as well? No. <laughs> really? DX11 yep. is a scam confirmed. Oh no, we're not getting it. <laughs> DX11. Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not. If you guys uh, look uh, very, very closely to your iRacing installation folder, there's a file called uh, underscore use DX11. Dot txt. Wow. Oh, I was gone. It doesn't do anything at the moment. <laughs> oh, did we lost KR? Bye, KR. His dog at him. <laughs> See you later, KR. Ah, <laughs> oh, he screwed up my boxes. <laughs> did someone fall down? <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, KR. Uh, Are you there, buddy? <laughs> Okay, we have I a redneck I, down, redneck down. I think he uh, he rebelled from the stream. 
his confederacy? <laughs> he wanted to secede? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, KR, hey, KR rest in peace, KR. Let's be perfect. He says issues restarting job. camp. He says issues. It's all right. We all have issues sometimes. No. Oops. Uh, no. Speaking of which, Daytona 24, what car should we drive if we're going to do that? I don't know, man. I'm going, I may go with the BMW just for stability reasons. I would suggest to you guys go for uh, McLaren. That, that's what I want to drive. It's a very good uh, car to drive now. I've been driving it uh, a lot, and I enjoy it a lot uh, more it's, than BMW. It still tries to kill me way too much for my liking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my feeling. I don't have enough seat time in the McLaren. I think BMW probably be the safest, and with a 24-hour race, I think that's what you're looking for. For me, the BMW and the DP, like I can't... It, it's hard for me to feel when I'm about to lose the rear end. But, I mean, in hindsight, like, I broke too hard or turned in too much. But with the McLaren, you can feel, like, when the rear is getting loose. So yeah. it's a little more predictable. Yeah, because it's every corner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm turning in. Yep, rear's loose. Yep. If you want a staple car, go for the DP. That's a very staple car. I struggle with that, too. All right, I've only done about five or six laps, but I do struggle with it. You have to remember it, it doesn't have ABS, so. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, yeah, I need maintenance throttle when I drive the DP. Like, otherwise, I spin. For, so I don't think I could do 24 hours in the Daytona prototype. I struggle so is, doing. Like is it 40 just minutes. the one race then? They just host the one race, 24 hour race. That's yeah. it. Yep. Not, okay. Yep. Because uh, back I wonder, in the day, when it was 2.4 hours, they did like three of them. For all the time yeah. zones. So. Yeah, there was less Daytona 500s last season as well. There was like there was about six or eight, I think, the year before. And then last year, there was hardly any of them. I think I ended up missing them all, which kind of sucked. Because I did about four or five of them the year before. You mean the Indy 500? or? No, the Daytona one. Oh. Or whatever it's called. What's the Daytona one called, the long one? Is it a 500? I don't know. Daytona yeah, 500. Yeah, it's 500. Yeah, they, around they around did loads circles. of them because I like I caught four or five of them uh, two years ago, and then last year they was uh, they were all at times when I was pretty much working or I was blind drunk, so I couldn't do any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <and> good times. <laughs> I think NIS does those, so there's only like four time slots, maybe. I'm not sure, but there's open and fixed for the C class, A class series, or C class. A car, what do we call it? Uh, so they, so they actually think that they got all these GT3 cars like balanced and everything. In the Daytona? No, uh, for I mean, just in general. No, no, no. no. Well, why can't they figure it out? They have individual strengths and weaknesses, so some of them are going to be better on some tracks, and some of them are going to be worse. Well, that's all right. I can deal with that. Like this week, the McLaren is just blitzing everything. It's ridiculous. And it just happens to be just because of the track? Yeah, pretty yep. much. You'll get other ones that'll go all for the BMW, and then you'll get others that, you know, the McLaren will be the king again. So you might be better off, like, understanding and knowing how to drive each car so you can pick the faster car for each week. Do you think that? Do you think people do that? Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. yeah. Man, Not me, though. Um, I try the other cars, and I'm shite at them, so I just stick with the Beamer. And also, I think that uh, they are not uh, like uh, spending that much time for the rough and for GT anymore. So. Yeah, it's pointless messing about with them. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of why I'm driving the BMW now, I guess. Um, just because it's it's not going anywhere. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> give in to your inner Beamer. Yeah. I, re I remember <laughs> all those GTZ streams. GTC. With your, yeah, with your ammo right. belt and your glasses. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, KR. Welcome back. Sorry. It's I don't okay. know what happened. But I do know that when I took my headphones off, I did hear some rattling going on inside the PC. Rattling? Oh. Yeah. It's not do good. you have your mouse traps ready? <laughs> uh, I think I may have lost a fan. Uh oh. Oh, snap. Hey, speaking of fans, I lost like 100 on Twitch this week. <laughs> well, 
don't know. Uh, it, it must have been that bot. It was like because I got I got done by a follower bot, which gave me like five hundred in about thirty minutes, and I ended up restarting the stream. I wish I never man, because I probably would have got like an extra thousand. And uh, and I think it must be just slowly purging them or something. That yeah, could be. That could very well be. I know we talked about it before, but bringing up streamers and stuff is. Uh, do we want to do a um, a big streamer race? Like, get as many people as possible to stream a race. Kind of, it'd kind of be like an invitational uh, race where we would just invite streamers uh, to do a race uh, sometime, you know, uh, try to get, because I know we want to try to get iRacing really high on the list for on Twitch for viewers. Yeah. I and think it'd be also, a lot of fun, you know? Also, it would be uh, nice to broadcast to that too. Yeah. So well, I, I, one of the, what I yeah go ahead. Uh, what I miss from the broadcasts is, is usually that, that they don't have the driver screens in the broadcasts. That would be nice uh, to figure out some kind of way to have like uh, when they are broadcasting, they are focusing on driver. They could go come up with the uh, picture in picture in there where they have uh, in a small picture the uh, broadcaster's uh, stream or something like that, or have it on the big, big picture and have the uh, broadcast on the small picture. The 30 so. second lag would make that an absolute nightmare yeah. and almost impossibility. I yeah. think some this people have been be... able to use two computers to run two instances of iRacing and then capture it and have it picture in picture. Not, you, you wouldn't be taking the stream video you would actually be running two i racing instances i've seen yeah. some forum discussion about that but regardless i think it's cool when you have a race and then you have multiple perspectives of the race i think that's oh, yeah. really cool well you could try and tie that in the easiest thing to do if you wanted to do that and try to get i racing on the top like once a week was to, is to tie it into the uh, grip tv endurance race yeah but i think everyone everybody involved in the grip tv endurance race wouldn't aren't necessarily streamers, but, I mean, there's a lot in there. You can almost just yeah, do but it for Daytona you, 24. You could put it out, well, we, iRacing's always high on the endurance races anyway, you know, the, the proper ones. It was. It always gets up really yeah. high. It was like two or 3,000 for the last one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, all I can say is for the 24-hour race at Daytona, we just encourage everyone to stream their race, even if you've never streamed before, just stream it. Yeah. You can have it. It's a video, you know? Yeah, even if you don't have a mic or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was originally the first, the, the the first only reason that I started streaming, was because the computer wasn't good enough to like play iRacing and run fraps, so it was just for me to have a con permanent record of the races. That was sure. the only reason I started streaming. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. I mean, it, if people want people want to see good racing, they don't care about you know your ugly mug on the screen or whether or not you know everything's perfect you know you got a fancy overlay or something if you're in an epic race and you're battling people will want to tune in you know yeah. at least yeah, I, that's just, just me good watching yeah so we we would encourage everyone to stream their daytona race or any race really but i think a streamer race would be fun just for bragging rights and just for just for fun you know we can yeah. make speaking it a funky the, combo speaking of the endurance race uh the week, the race after the next race, that's being hosted by Dewalt, is uh, the track's gonna be should be chosen by us, the oh, streamers yeah. race. Uh, what do you guys think we should do? I'm I'm thinking like Phillip Island. That seems like a really fun track, fun combo with I the like Mustang that. and the Mazda. Yeah, we may have to. Um, oh, it's a stream. We, the streamers decide. Yeah. So we got to yeah. get together. Yeah. And decide. Mm. We can do a straw poll and ask the nation, but yeah, we can figure something out. Uh, Phillip Island is a lot of fun. Um, Central Pedal, great, great circuit. <laughs> great yes, circuit. fantastic. <laughs> Lots of room to pass on either side. Yes. <laughs> Twitter All question, right. if we're still doing Twitter, what do we get? Any Twitter question? Twitter. Uh, there's one from Maverick. Uh, it's, uh, what's the best way to stream with one monitor? Best way to stream with one monitor. Ooh. Yeah, you, uh, you, it's difficult. But what I yeah. did when I first started, uh, 
when I had to play the game in full screen because otherwise my frames dropped through the floor, um, I used a tablet, which just meant that I caught up on notifications 30 seconds later rather than like the instant. But, you know, it still worked out for quite a while. I just used a tablet to monitor the stream. Hmm. You know, yeah. you still stream like normal. Whereas now I have OBS and Chatty up on the, on the right hand screen so I can see stuff real time. And I think uh, you can also have uh, the chatty as a transparent and have it uh, like on top of your screen if you run in windowed mode. You can see the chat still in there. I'm not sure. I haven't done mine transparent, but I do have it on top now. Yeah, I, uh, I, use, I have three screens, and I'm able to put my Twitch chat on my other monitor, but I use that monitor still for iRacing, and I do put it on top, and I'm able to to see the chat so you can put your chat uh on top of the iRacing simulator and then you can reach at and you know whatever or you could just do it the way you know uh i was watching nim cross stream last night he didn't do nothing until it uh he uh was finished done the with the race yeah, yeah he'd finish the race and then <clears throat> reach at Maybe I should oh. learn from him. <laughs> Speedy, I use something called Chatter. Chatty. Chatty is called. It's Chatty. Uh, it's, yeah, uh, Chatty. it's just something. That it's like a, like a box, it is. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. Change the fonts and all that sort of stuff. And you have it, you have it uh, always on top. And because I run iRacing in a window, it just stays above iRacing, so I can always see it. That's the link in, in for that. Also, there another you thing you could use if you, you know, to keep up with like your followers and stuff is one thing that I found um, a while ago now. It's called Ankbot. But what that does there, and it tells you in chat the name of somebody for the, who followed. So you're able just to read chat and say who followed you and thank them. Rather than having to look at like, uh, you know, the OBS when it pops up or something or a different web page. Does that work for hosting as well? Yes. Mm. Okay. That's, that's, that's why it tells me on chat who hosts and stuff. Yeah. Okay. That's what I need. I want that. I don't know if you guys brought it up, but also to just have one scene in OBS, if you're running one monitor, just use one scene so you don't have to keep switching scenes and then you forget or something because you can't see OBS because it's minimized. There also is another thing as well, um, which I used to use initially, was you can use a scene switcher, automatic scene switcher. So basically, depending on which window is you've got on your main monitor, is what it'll go into a scene. So like, if you go to your web page, you can have like a scene set up for the web page, and it'll automatically change over. And then once iRacing is the main window on top, it'll switch over to the, yes. the, the iRacing stream. That's how I used to use it. Now I don't. It's just one channel. I can't be asked. I just capture my middle monitor, and just that's it. I'm lazy. <laughs> Classic Jesperoni. Classic. Uh, look at him. Food time. Just look <laughs> at him. Time. We were waiting for this. Did he hear the yes? It was like his father. He was like, yes. He's like, yes. <laughs> I get the scraps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember oh, Jes Jesperoni was in an uh, oval race. And it was under caution. And he's like trying to eat some like rice and beans. Or he's eating something. And he's like trying not to he like hits someone almost hits the wall and he's like trying to shove down food like during a caution it is hilarious this is classic classic jesperoni just look at him <laughs> oh jesperoni is like almost tiny as well isn't he he looks a little tiny yeah he's like he's like tubsy tiny yeah. <laughs> we'll ask oh, him man just, shh, he's back stop talking about him shh, shh, he's Josh. back <laughs> quiet oh. quiet <laughs> Talking about Tubsy, <laughs> has anyone uh, challenged him for the King of the Ring? Anybody? No, no. Any of the nation nope. try that? If you race the uh, Nurburgring with every single car, try to beat oh, his time. That? Yeah, the King of the Ring. Yeah, buy, me, buy me the Nurburgring in every single car. I'll beat him. So, Jesperoni, <laughs> yes. uh, when did you finish filming this season's uh, Game of Thrones? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm always gonna gonna call you Arya Stark now. You're so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess Brown is the only person that already has a Twitch emote, so that's pretty good. Yeah. He has a Twitch <laughs> yep. emote, and his likely likelihood likeliness likeness his likeness. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can you get any more of that in? You get you're making that's, me hungry. That's mental. You might as well just open your mouth and pour the plate in. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll it then. 
Wow. Don't make him laugh. He's eating. It's going to come out his nose. He doesn't <laughs> fucking chew it anyway. It just goes straight down. Don't worry about it. There we go. There we go. What? No, it's falling apart. It's. Oh, now I know why he left it behind. We'll just shove it all in there. <laughs> oh, ladies, um, watch and learn. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, that is so fucking rank. <laughs> oh, man. That's a pro tip right there. There it is. <laughs> oh, it's boy. Good. Uh, there was actually uh, more Twitter questions. Uh, Singer was asking, did you know the Daytona 24-hour has set its license class to D4.0, so no rookies? And uh, I think it was uh, like that year, uh, last year that they have a uh, own race for the D4 and above, and then they have own race for the rookies and below yeah. the D4. Well, KR, sorry, but even if we wanted to be on the team, I can't help you there. I mean, <laughs> rookies aren't allowed, so. Oh, well, I guess it's a good thing I have my C-class road license. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to go. I had to go get that for uh, the uh, Bathurst race that me and Tubbsy were supposed to do. But then I went and knackered it by uh, joining as a spotter in the beginning. So that sucked. <laughs> we really should get it. Everybody, if they got Twitter, just hashtag find Fidjik. That'd be awesome. Find Fidjik. Where is Fidjik? Yeah. Get Fidjik. If he's even on Twitter. <laughs> So uh, you guys, uh, mostly the uh, nation probably noticed now that uh, Grip TV has a new look, a new feel. Got that new logo working for us. And if you oh, want yeah. to uh, sport the Grip TV nation logo on your stream, then the picture is available on the Facebook page. Um, also... Uh, there will be some uh, paints available for your different race cars with the uh, new logo on it soon. That'll be uh, coming in the future, so make the change over. Um, so there you go. The uh, Grip TV Nation logos are available. There you go. JP with the spam. Look at oh, him yeah. go, folks. <laughs> I don't really uh, like spam. So there you go. <laughs> Doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And uh, be looking out for the uh, next broadcast for the Grip TV Nation Endurance League. That'll be coming soon. I Heck think yeah. this is a great, a great little league that we got going here. Uh, I know DeWolf asked on Twitter a while ago what type of improvements or what did you guys think about how the first event went. I think it was good, although I think the uh, fuel adjustment needs to be changed a little bit to force two pit yeah. stops. Other than that, I think it was great. I think a lot of, I think it, most everybody kept it really clean. I know. think uh, I was I was very surprised uh, for the uh, outlap. Mm -hmm. I I didn't see any incidents in there. Did, was there any? Uh, KR did, were oh, in the broadcast. No. Yeah. The the amazing thing about this race was there really wasn't anyone who made contact to take somebody else out. I mean, there was some. It is a race. Right. But overall, it was an extremely clean race. Uh, I was very surprised by it. It made for a very great race. It was very enjoyable to watch. I think it was a huge success. Yeah, I, I enjoyed yeah. it a lot, man. I was focus face, man. I was I was in in <laughs> in rhythm, man. I was in the zone. I had a lot of fun. Burns um, you like uh, battling all the time, Matt, in there. Battling the with race, Flisco, and then John caught up, and then we battled for a little while before he just drove away. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it, that was some good stuff in there. <laughs> so, That's be looking for that. The, the, the big, these are long endurance races. I think, in, what are you guys' thoughts on, like, endurance racing in general? Like, I, it's just so different than a regular race, you know? I, I just put more importance on a longer race it's just a different mindset i really enjoy it yeah especially if you're driving alone uh, you don't have to like you don't want to be on your 110 percent during the race you have to be around somewhere like 80 percent keep it consistent keep it clean 
but still try to ge keep up the pace. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's totally different uh, state of mind in the endurance racing. Yeah, the strategy involved with pit stops and all that stuff is uh, just makes you think more about it than just a regular 10, 10 lap sprint race. You know, all you're doing there is just hot lapping your ass off. You know, yeah, but, bash it. Yeah, <laughs> screw the tires. Just like that, just like a GT three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone has been so hurried that uh, the turn one is like a big pile of cars. <laughs> Yeah. There's been some real, real shenanigans this week in GT3. It's yeah. been absolutely crazy. You know, you're starting like, I mean, just like sometimes I've had my ones where I've, I've, the qualifying button hasn't been there, so I've had to get out and come back in. So I've started at the back, and like, you know, in the first lap, you've gained 10, pl 10 places. Yeah. And actually, uh, I did uh, one race on uh, Friday evening. Yeah, it was Friday evening race. And uh, I qualified in top 10, but uh, we actually survived the turn two, the hairpin in there. <laughs> but uh, then uh, one beamer made it uh, three wide after that turn. And uh, off we go. Half of the field was wrecked in there because of the beamer. And I got the last from that. I had two minutes of optional repairs on the pit stop, but uh, the car still drove fine. So I just just uh, kept going on the race and I finished in 8th place. So I came back from uh, 23rd place to 8th place Damn. from the first lap. <laughs> Damn. So, pro tip guys, always wow. finish your races, always finish your races. At least in the GT3. No Alt F4 in, huh? Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's yours, that is. That's all yours, the Alt F4, man. <laughs> I actually Alt f for a PCC race. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, on the first lap? Yep. First, first lap. lap. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Cheers. You lose a hundred I rating, you move on. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> so uh, we got two Twitter thingy doodas. First what? one's from uh, Sinky, aka Dead Man Cave. Um, <laughs> did you know that the Daytona 24 hour set license uh, set the license class to D4.0? That was already. I said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get, catch up to us, John. You're lagging a little bit there. <laughs> really? I didn't hear that. I was fucking yeah. AFK in probably. And then, did you do the other one then? No, no. Nope. Nope. All right. Max. The other one is from Max van der Vest. Uh, what about a Dirt Rally Championship with all of you guys? I know that that was something Jimmy did start doing, didn't he? Yeah. 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 I would do but it if it. I knew more about it. Like, eh, maybe I just yeah, need to read it. The information for that was uh, a little bit vague, uh, very hard to get, and uh, the registration procedure was very confusing. So I was trying to run that, but uh, I don't know. It was just too hard to get in there. It's easy um, enough. You just make one, and you make it last a whole week, and that's it. And then people have got all week to enter, and then when it's over, then you make a new one. Do you just get the one run, then? That's it? You just enter any time during the week? Get your run in, and that's your yeah. Time. Well, you you create it with uh, you know however many tracks you want, you know, so it can be just one track if you want, or it can be all of them, and you set the, the, the conditions of the time of day and all that sort of crap, you know, and then uh, you basically let it run from like one point to another. You have to, it has to be long enough, so basically you could say it's you could do it now and start it tonight at twelve o'clock and get it to finish like next Sunday at twelve o'clock. But what and actually, is... he's got a chance. But you can put it in there that there's no restart, so if you crash out and die, that's it. Or okay. you can have it so people can retry over and over again. Okay. Uh, what I just uh, thought that uh, I would uh, be interested of uh, some kind of elimination championship for the rally cross. That would be fun, I think. I rally like cross. Some, Has anybody some tried kind of brackets, Have some kind of brackets uh, who are like uh, driving uh, against each other and then like a uh, uh, the top two are going to advance to the next bracket uh, until we have the final race. Like a round robin tournament? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be down. I don't know how to set it up or anything. It sounds, if you only get like one attempt at it, that'd be tough. I, I would need to keep trying over and over. I guess you could practice, set it up yourself, do some practice runs, and then enter yeah. the actual official event and then get your time in. But man, it. I, I would do it. I like dirt rally, man. I should try that out so a, a lot more because I know they got the new Finland stages and all that. I've tried out a little bit, but that is a, a really fun game. Yeah. Well, if uh, there's anyone in the nation uh, who have a more experience on uh, 
setting up the uh, dirt rally championships or something like that they could uh, maybe uh, reach out for us like yes. uh, they will uh, reach out with the Crypt TV Endurance League yeah well, I mean well there you go like that's a great example is the wolf stepping up to the plate making things happen uh, if somebody wants to do that for dirt rally I'd be down I don't actually play it. It's like it's again. It's because like I'm just not gener just not good at games. Out right out of the bat, I have to practice at them. But I have to put a shit ton of time into dirt rally just to even be not shit. In all honesty, so I, I just kind of let it go and not bothered with it at all for ages. Yeah, it's oh. it's really hard to go from like i racing to dirt rally because you're so used to like being at a hundred percent. Where you know in a rally you just have you have to be like fifty percent. You're like. Uh, this is a four up here, but it could be tighter than normal or not as tight as usual. So we'll just break just enough to get around, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I hate when it changes tightness because then you got all kinds of questions. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was Usually the past about is brought up. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it looser all of a sudden? <laughs> hey now, wait a minute here. But uh, yeah, I'd be down for some dirt rally action. Make it happen, nation. Hey, we yeah. can't we can't provide everything here. You guys got to help us. Yeah. Can you have yeah, custom let's... paint jobs in Dirt Rally? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. then it's all worth it. Good morning, Jody Amber. Welcome. Is there anything else it's on have... the Twitters? Oh. Oh, what do we have? Uh, uh, go for it. Sinky. So, Matt and KR, have you agreed the payment of the $20 bet from last night? We did. In, uh, in uh, April, when we go to the iRaceForLife.org seminar, uh, I will hand-deliver personally Matt his $20, crisp $20 bill. And uh, just, I'm bummed. Nobody took the uh, $10 iRacing credit bet, and uh, Matt finished. Yeah. So he gets his 20 bucks in April. <laughs> That's right. I'll buy a couple of beers. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, never, never bet against me. The, I, uh, I still believe. I still believe that bet made you buckle down, focus, and get the job done. So in re reality, you should probably pay me twenty bucks. <laughs> well, I didn't want to screw up. I didn't want to DQ. It'd be bad. Second place, I'll take it. No way you're beating John D. Allen. Give me a break, you guys. I'm a machine. I'll be there to mediate the transaction. <laughs> okay. Jess Brony's I'll be the middleman. Oh, yeah, Jess Brony, are you going? Uh, it, you, yeah, I think I'm going. You live, like, I've next got... door. Well, like, next door in Texas is, like, five hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I got an eight-hour drive to get down to uh, Dallas, so I'm looking forward to the drive. I enjoy... I enjoy driving, so it'll be a good time. Be by myself. Normally, when I gotta drive down to Texas, I got the wife. Oh God! You loud mouth children, <sighs> and you know she's got to stop. The children got to stop, and I'm just like, yeah, okay. So K I'll, be, I'll be haul hauling ass down there. Kr, do you like whenever you're driving with your kids and all the family and stuff? You're like, I'll turn this car right around. Do you ever make those threats <laughs> like an old man nope. would do? Nope. I just take the wheel, and boom, boom, like that. And <laughs> Boom, they smack heads. <laughs> Argument's over because they're both unconscious. Keep Just keep driving. You ain't wasting time. Hell no. It can't, it can't be worse than having uh, John in the car because he's probably got to piss more than they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's only Peanut when blood. I drink. I don't drink and drive. So Which I is a freak. <laughs> moment of the day. Yes, you do it, John. At least in eye racing. <laughs> yeah, and eye racing, but not in real life. Christ. Uh, perfect. Peanut bladder. <laughs> You got the peanut bladder, I got the bumblebee bladder. It strikes. Dude, I remember the days when I was a kid, man, and we used to go for real long-ass drives in a properly old shit car, and it used to take forever. And it guaranteed, like, because, like, we used to go, like, a lot into England and stuff, and we should, we'd, we'd, I'd be fine all the way, and then we'd go through the bring glass tunnels, and then all of a sudden I'd see the, um... Dad, I the, this, I was coming over. She is, go away. <laughs> um, to come to the Severn Bridge 
And uh, as soon as I used to see all that water driving across the estuary, I had to have a piss, man. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so they used to keep like they used to keep like empty bottles and stuff in the back of the car for me. I was just sitting there getting in the back of the estate car like as a four year old pissing in a bottle. <laughs> and then my brother used to chuck it out then. <laughs> Fucking great. Perfect. Yeah, but... Trucker bombs, that's what they call them, trucker bombs. <laughs> yeah. I know oh, when my dad you. came to my dad came to pick me up when we were moving moving to Austin. <laughs> He had a giant piss bottle in the car. I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> if That's... I was your dad, I would have let you take a sip before I told you. Well, I wouldn't have been able to tell you. I'd have been laughing too much, but I still wouldn't let you know. <laughs> Sterile. <laughs> yes. Hey, it's good enough for Bear Grylls. It's good enough for Jess Baroni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Bear would end up, you know, doing other things. I know like getting a... <laughs> I notice a pretty big pyramid behind you, KR. Uh, how many days does that represent? Just this morning? Yeah, that's just this morning. You know, it's just a light, light drinking day. That's fine. It's a good breakfast. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole weekend, KR. Stop yeah. telling lies. Okay. Yes, it is the whole weekend. But uh, the point of it is, in in my streams, uh, you, you just gotta guess how many I've had for the day. Like normally, I'd clean it all up, start the new stream, and we'd start with zero and go from there. Uh, but uh, I decided to make it difficult. Now nobody knows how much I've had. Not even me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wild card. Yes. You get any uh, any issues in uh, any Mazda Cup races recently, KR? I, I'm actually kind of disappointed. I haven't. Um, in fact, I think I think I got a win. Uh, you won a Mazda days Cup. Ago. I think so. I don't remember. I I need to. Double check. It was early in the week if it did. But, uh, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it, uh, it was one of those, uh, because I've had such a rough time, I'm actually building my uh, road I rating back up. Uh, so I'm in, like, bottom splits. So getting a win in, in those isn't necessarily that big of a deal. When you got fifteen hundred I rating and you're up around twenty five hundred, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I racing has uh, still has issues. Uh, what's with the uh, floating backfires? That are just oh yeah, phantom <laughs> phantom backfires out of nowhere. Have you guys seen that, right? I have. Yeah, it's on uh, the Montreal. What's the deal? It's 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 the uh, McLaren black backfires. They're hanging out in there. They're just hanging uh, out in the middle of the track. Thing. Yeah, It'll give it's you a all seizure. the it's all the dead cars that uh, perished in the previous races. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that it was some kind of a secret code to tell people that uh, McLaren is the OP on that truck. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the it, it, it's the ghost of James Saunders after he wrecked in the last race, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> calling people out for no reason. Hey, he's yeah. <laughs> Ghosts yeah, of three namers. It's really weird. It's three Ghosts namers. Ghosts of three namers. Yeah. yeah. Arriba, arriba. Casting three namers. <laughs> Man, it's almost a guarantee. You see a three namer and a four namer in a race, and they are getting together and killing each other. Yeah. Just don't Guaranteed. talk to me about the twats this week. I swear to God, how the hell that I am just I have not physically strangled some shit. I don't know. They've been awful in GT3 this week. Absolute fucking horrible. Well. I had, that Vela, that that four name of Vela Tas guy, oh, I, I almost killed him again yesterday. He was just driving around the track slow as hell, and he went from like staying on the inside line to just driving straight across the racing line out to wherever he wanted to go. I did actually crater him, but thankfully enough, it came up as a zero X. But oh my god, that's uh, it's actually uh, that's a chat question from uh, Oxley, and uh, has. I racing screwed up this time. The splitting does not seem to work anymore, and Nim says it's intentional. Uh, Lot of seventy nine in North Life race just had the race uh, still going on. Where James King three point four KIR is in the second split, and True Racer Matt O'Donnell is in the first split with uh, a little bit under three KIR. And the answer for that is that the Lot of seventy nine series is split by qualification time. Ah, there so, you go. Asked and I, answered. I I do I do like the 
when, um, like for the Indy 500 that they do, how it's based off of your qualifying time, not necessarily your I rating. I do like how they have some of that thrown in there uh, for some of these bigger, more popular races. No, I, I, yeah, I think the um, that was a community decision by them, probably, I would imagine, that they wanted their races split that way. The 79 guys. I don't know. <clears throat> but it, it's probably not a bug. It's probably... That's just how it is. Yeah, they have they have some uh, series uh, which are decided by qualification time. Uh, I think uh, it's going to be the f uh, this year, the Formula 1 Pro season is going to act uh, the same way. It's not... Uh, Split by or the uh, crit is not determined uh, determined uh, by the I rating, rather than uh, from uh, qualification time. So the faster you you are in the qualification, I like that the uh, the higher stops with you are. But again, I start to think of that right now and uh, how they're gonna do it because the qualification is now attached to the race session. So do. Do they have uh, different qualification sessions again on the pro season? They would have idea. to then, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. So, so speaking of qualifying, I am not. When it, when it first came out, I was I was a fan of it. I enjoyed it. I liked it. Now that we've been in it for a couple weeks with qualifying attached beforehand, it's a pain to do a Mazda Cup race and then catch something at like the the half hour mark yeah and, and and really what it boils down to is is they give you you're on a road course they give you a <laughs> two minute practice then you go into <laughs> qualifying and then you wait to grid for another two minutes what the hell is the point of the two minute practice because ain't by the time you get loaded up you get into the um the track you're out lap you're halfway through with the out lap before you're into qualifying it's just There's to get no everybody in there. Two it's just yeah, to get well, everybody got, in. You, they still give you another seven minutes. You still got five minutes, ten, seven minutes of qualifying, depending on how long the track is. And then they give you another two minutes to grid. If you're not right. in there by the by seven minutes, you ain't making it. You weren't yeah, going to make yeah. it to begin with in the old way. So now they've added like nine extra minutes. Yeah. And good luck trying to do Mazda Cup and then the Cadillac. Yeah, I agree. It's hard to get back-to-back -back races in. It yeah. should just be a uh, little bit quicker, that initial... I think if they got rid of yeah. that initial two minutes and just opened up straight away with qualifying, that would be a big help. And <clears throat> and why do we got to wait two minutes to grid? Yeah, it should go just back to one put minute it back to down grid. down to one minute. Yeah, I agree. Because yeah. we're losing... You know, we're losing all we're kinds burning of We're burning daylight. Burning daylight. Burning daylight. Get those races there. in. Fucking no races. one lives forever. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No oh, one lives yeah. forever. Oh, but take me... I honestly wish they'd stop fucking with things, though, because like going back before GT3 had qualifying in this in its uh, in in the actual session, I had a perfect little setup. I'd go and do GT3. If I got out straight away when it finished, I could do Carburetor Cup. Then I used to go into GTC, which used to bring me back to GT3 again. It was a perfect sort of endless yeah. something. And now it's just like, all right, we're out of grip. We're out of like GT3 takes an hour to get in and out. Right. And then, and then you're like, all right, what can I do now? I've missed the Indy car, so the only th other thing I could do, all right, oh, okay, we'll try GTC. You go into GTC to find that it's now been extended, so it lasts longer than the actual allotted hour, so you miss GT3. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> stop fucking with things. I have a nice little rhythm going, and you're just throwing me off my vinegar stroke all the time. It's just not good enough. I, I, yeah, I completely agree. They, they messed with the rhythm of it. Um, things could, used to flow real nice, like, like you know, like I said, from Mazda to Cadillac, the Cadillac would get done. You can move on to something else. Uh, it, it's just frustrating right now. They should almost have it where more and more series should just start at the top of the hour. That way, by the time you get through your qualifying, you get through the race, you look at the clock. It's quarter two. And you get ready for another race at the top of the hour. Just have more options available. If, I say get rid yeah. of the. Two, the race is at quarter two and quarter past, and maybe just have everything at top of the hour and bottom of the hour. I, I, I don't know. It's hard because every session is different. And um, 
most of the sessions though it seems like like gt3 gt1 gtc damn it's almost damn near an hour like 45 minutes to to an hour that you're locked into that race session so the nice the nice thing about quarter pass and quarter two races is if you crash out of one on the hour, you just join that one. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> yeah, but the that trouble is, is the on the hour ones, qualifying takes up to quarter, quarter of an hour anyway. So you've missed quarter pass. You've missed yeah. hours. You started the warm-up lap. You get created on the warm-up lap. You emo quit, and there's nothing happening for another, I don't know, three quarters. Uh, yeah. It's a lap pass, right. really. Yeah, it's you tough. You always have a park up. It's <laughs> tough to uh, try to schedule all the races in there. I, I, this week, I've mainly been doing GT3 and then doing something hosted for just under an hour so I can go straight back to GT3. It's worked out quite well. And, yeah, people are saying, like, alt-tab out. You, you can, like, uh, you know, as you're in a session, you can sign up for another session, obviously, but um, if the website works... <laughs> oh, it's been fucking abortion yeah. again yeah, this week, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's, it's what is it, week? Third, week, third week after week 13 now. So they've had four weeks to get this shit working. I got the feeling that when they do finally get the new new website up and running and stuff, it's not going to be any different. It's still going to be really slow. It's just going to look different. That's what I really think. <laughs> you know? the, the, begin earlier like this week, they had the problem, well, this last weekend when it, the problem was that for some reason that the, the, the stack wasn't shutting and ending uh, gaming sessions. So, like... You know, there'd be three GT3s open. They would not shut down. And then they'd open up another three or four for the next one. And it was like that with all the series. That's why they ended up having it all just melted down and nothing worked at all. So they took all that down and did something. And then, well, meant to have fixed it. But I don't know, the are website you, is still having a nightmare under traffic. Are you guys experiencing that uh, crazy, like, micro stutter issue? Anyone experiencing that? I am. I, am. I have. Yes, yes. You get that. but not so bad. It's the it's the weirdest thing. Those. You get the stutter and you're not losing frames per second. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah, I get I, that all the time. It, it's uh, I have uh, had that for over a year now. It was uh, when I upgraded my CPU from i5 to i7, and I thought that I get a performance increase. Instead of uh, it was about the same uh, when I went to triples, and uh, I think everyone has the start stutters. But uh, they just don't pay attention to that so much that they would uh, care about it. But as you can see, uh, so many threads have opened up in the iRacing now. People having the status issues and nothing is working for them. And iRacing is expecting the people doing the uh, troubleshooting for them. When it should be the iRacing doing the troubleshooting for the drivers or for the people of the service. And uh, it's a little bit frustrating, and it's, uh, sometimes it's even more frustrating when someone comes to the pro problem thread saying that, hey, I don't have any stutters, I don't experience any stutters, everything is fine. <laughs> it, it sounds like, uh, okay, you have everything fine, but it doesn't make the problem go away. Right. So, yeah, uh, they listen to those people like, well, it's working for him, yeah. we don't got to fix it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it, it's it's funny that um, people had uh, reported that uh, this uh, the problems are now more obvious after the update. And i racing uh, i racing guys were just like, a, "Have you updated your graphics di drivers?" Yeah, and I said, "What does it matter?" <laughs> because the, it was running a, a mod, much better before the update without yeah. upgrading the drivers. So. Right, exactly. It's like Fnatic telling me, like, did you switch USB ports? You know, it's like, yeah. come on. It's like, it's obviously, it's obviously not coming from my end. Like, what's going on here? No, yeah, yeah I hear you, JP. It's, it is frustrating. I get, yeah. I get them every once in a while. It used to, there used to be a long stretch there where if, when someone would connect or disconnect from the server, you would get a stutter. But I don't get that anymore. I just get random little stutters, but it's very, f not very often. Now, like apparently, apparently, the stuff that when people join and leave is something to do with trading paints. They reckon nope, no, oh. it's not that. Oh. It's not. No, I'm, I'm having that in the race, and usually, it, uh, the most uh, obvious uh, stutter is uh, somewhere around the start and finish line. And there is uh, people, uh, one guy doing extensive testing. He's like uh, spending tens of hours for testing different uh, graphic options, uh, different uh, CPU uh, settings, uh, GPU settings. He's doing the iRacing's job 
trying to find the for, for, uh, trying to like a troubleshoot where the problem relies or where the problem lies and uh, he has noticed that uh, there's some problem problems with the uh, memory controlling and uh, he also noticed that uh, if you downgrade your CPU speed you don't get the stutters ah. so iRacing uh, works on like really old computers it's an old system it's built on an old foundation yeah. it's 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 not optimized to 2015 hardware and stuff like that so there's just issues man they gotta get that shit figured out because it's getting ridiculous and then they want to come out with dx11 and everyone thinks yeah. it's going to solve all the problems I, I think it's going to create all new problems yeah <laughs> that's my worry you know yeah, but uh, same here my favorite uh i racing feature is when when you leave the session it like fr freezes the audio and it like makes like a cool I don't have that issue. I don't get that either. Yeah, I don't have that issue. I just exit out. That's weird. <laughs> that is well, weird. if you do have the audio issue, you got to pause it before exiting the yeah. sim helps. But it, yeah. it, it, it's iRacing shutting down. You know, like you'll exit out of a race and then try to sign up for another one and says simula simulator already running? And you gotta right. wait and wait and wait and wait for it to like close out. It's so stupid, man. It's like once it's you load the game, it should just be as loaded. Bramish said. Hmm? As Bramish said, it's single core processing, I think, is a lot of the issues we got. Yeah. Uh, one thing I was looking at as well, I think it's because it uses that single core. I unparked my cores this week and I seen a little bit of a frame increase and not, not as many stutters. And I think it's because like iRacing is only using the one core, and then like it'll use the other cores to run one another core to run something else, and like shut four of my cores down instead of utilizing them all. Mm. It just seems to make a little bit of difference. Not a not a massive amount, but uh, yeah, I think like because and another thing I've noticed as well, like if my computer goes into sleep mode and I wake it up and I start streaming, I'll have on a forty frames. Now if I reboot the PC and start it straight away, it's on like seventy eighty frames. Yeah. So I don't know. That's that's what I'm talking about. Everything is uh, basically experiencing the stutters, but in different ways. And I think it's uh, uh, the problem is much more in deep in the code than yeah, just uh, something mm -hmm. what the iRacing is trying to tell, upgrade the drivers or something like that. Yeah, the code is, uh, the code of the engine is way too old for the shit they're trying to push through it now. Right. Yeah. Just reinstall Windows. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and reboot the router and the PC. Yeah, download more. Fl range. Flush your DNS. Yeah, flush did it. You, did you try turning it off and on again? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, well, there's always going to be problems. Just got to work through them. Got to persevere. That's all you got to do. Yeah. Just got to keep, keep yeah. signing up for like, Mazda races. That's all like the rattle that's going on in my computer. It's kind of scary. Yeah, it's rattling around, yeah. You drop an army figure in there? Or are you playing <laughs> army, man? You didn't oh, lock any of your kids in there, did you, when you was uh, drunk? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I'm going to start taking up donations for a new computer. Because yeah. this, is, this is scary. Because if that fan goes out, it'll probably fry everything. Could be an empty beer can rattling around in there. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is what uh, I use to cool it. I pour some beer on it. <laughs> is, that, is that not what you're supposed to do? Is just just go cooled? back to the olden days where you buy like a desk fan and you just take the side off and just yeah. jam the desk fan up against the side of it. I, I actually, that actually have works. a fan blowing right on it. <laughs> you get an air con unit and just go straight on it, it'd be fine. Oh yeah, during the summer I have to have a fan blowing right in my computer because it's like 100 degrees in here from me sweating and like... Dry yeah, you cooking, you got the oven yep. on... Yeah. You got the bread maker going. It gets a little warm in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is the pizza uh, ready yet? Yeah. I, would, uh, I have been, uh, uh, like, a couple of, uh, oh, in the uh, past, I have been looking out for these uh, ice packs, what the real race drivers are using, uh, some kind of cooling packs, which you're going to have, like, a vest on your chest. That would be nice to have. Well, you got the uh, heart the heart rate monitor going again, uh, JP. Oh yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, requested for long to come back, and uh, then I found an application for that to bring it back 
back and uh, people are enjoying it. It was it was like interesting. It. Last uh, uh, yesterday, I was doing the MX5 race. Uh, my average heartbeat was, I think, it was like uh, 98. And uh, in the GT3 race, I did on uh, Friday two GT3 races. My average heartbeat was a uh, 128. And my maximum rate for the MX-5 was uh, 129. And for the GT3 race, I have uh, 175. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I, I mean, remember when the other way around. ridiculously high the one time and we were like, fuck, is he, gonna, is he, is he like going to die? His heart's just going to blow up now. I, I'd hate to see mine. Well, he's an yeah. alien. He's got two hearts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. What's, what's a heartbeat that would be considered a uh, danger zone up in the uh, 200s? I think it's, yeah, I think it's 200. Because uh, I have seen in the, um, I have seen in the real life uh, videos where they had this uh, heartbeat monitor too, and they had some kind of a pre monitor too. And uh, the race, real life race drivers, they actually have 170 through to 180 when they are not battling. So they are under great stress, the real wow. life drivers. Wow. That was an uh, IndyCar at uh, Barber, Barber Mo Motorsport Park. So. Yeah, I was watching something. Oh, I can't remember what it was. It was in the middle of a stream, actually. And somebody said, oh, you know, the live thing here, this is up. So we had a look at it. And they had, like, uh, the, uh, how many breaths a minute they were taking yeah. and all sorts of stuff on it. That was epic. I want, wow. I'd love to see more of that. Oh, Fatigue boy. levels based upon, uh, you know, on, uh, like, I don't know, they must have done it on, on what they were breathing out and stuff like that, I guess. But it was really, really good. Seems that we finally got the source, Transcoder. Yeah. Happy highlighting! Happy highlighting for you, Matt. <laughs> I'm, rec I'm recording. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I, I I know. Uh, I I thought about getting the uh, heart rate monitor, but uh, almost every start of the race, every everything, every race, uh, I I can tell mine's like a million beats per second at the start of every race. So I'm like, nah, I don't want everyone knowing how much of a pansy I am. <laughs> that that's part of the reason why I didn't want to get one is uh, like if, if somebody was like a doctor or something they'd be concerned and they'd be like uh, you really shouldn't be racing that many Mazda races. I was <laughs> nervous yesterday before the uh, endurance race. I was really nervous, man. My heart was probably it was probably I mean I, it was up there, you know. But uh, yeah, the heart rate monitor is pretty cool. How does that work? Where do you put it? Is it? It's not in your wrist, is it? No, it's my chest. It's, uh, oh, okay. it's, uh, it's just a normal uh, chest uh, strap where you put uh, the. It's a uh, Bluetooth. Uh, it sends uh, through the Bluetooth. Yeah. It's a uh, Polar Polar H7 Bluetooth Smart, and uh, I have a Bluetooth uh, receiver on my PC. And it's a Windows application. It's not a software. Oh. It's the application you can get from the App Store. So you have to have Windows 8 or Windows 10 to get it. And it's a heartbeat monitor application. Yeah, I like so. the uh, picture you have and how it says, uh, say, like, maximum uh, beats, yes. you know, in that race or whatever. But it's pretty dang accurate, too, I think, because when, when I'm watching you and you're, like, you're, you're having some good battling in there and, like, you can see it increase in real time. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's, 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 quite, uh, it's actually quite uh, interesting that uh, if I, for example, if I make an overtake, uh, of course, uh, it increases. Uh, when we are battling, but still, if I get past, it's still like uh, five or seven corners, and it's still increasing because I'm still excited about the overtake, and yeah. I have to, of course, yeah, the, keep, the, I have yeah, to keep the, up the pace. Yeah, keep the, the keep adrenaline it up. dump. Yeah. The adrenaline dump is, is, is still is cycling through your body. Yeah. So right. you know, like on on a close oval, like on a, I've had it happen to where uh, you know you're going 200 miles an hour on an oval. And you fly through an accident. Well, a lap and a half later, that's when it's all you're just like because of the yeah. adrenaline from it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it because uh, I think adrenaline. It's not like a slow and steady. Uh, your body doesn't like send it slowly. It just like purges it, and it'll just yeah. shoot it, yeah. and it has to run through your system, and it'll spike. Yeah. And uh, I think that's how that works. I'm not a I'm not a doctor or anything. <laughs> the come down off an come down off an adrenaline rush is monstrously awful. Mm -hmm. 
And I, I, I like I'll do a GT3 race, and it, and you know it's a close one. You're right up there, and it, it, everything is going, and you, you're just burning everything. And then all of a sudden, that next hour where you're doing like a fun, just uh, hosted race, you just within about thirty minutes, you just feel like shit, yeah, just, and it starts yawning, and it's like, exhausted. oh fuck, uh, I gotta do another I one. <laughs> I don't want to turn the wheel. Uh, hell, I'll just hit the wall. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also uh, a tip. Uh, uh, for the uh, if you are trying to like uh, level down the adrenaline rush, don't try to level it uh, too much because uh, I tried to do that uh, last year. I think it was a Road America race with the Formula One car, if I remember right. I was uh, doing uh, deep frets on the main straight in there. <laughs> I almost freaking passed out. <laughs> yeah, no, I was GT3 in Lagos. I was. Oh, right headed. Yeah. You had the second straight you had to pull over on because you almost fucking passed out. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. say it's good to uh, breathe in through your nose, obviously, but don't breathe too much. Yeah. That'll give you issues too. Just kind of let it ride, let let your system take care of it. But uh, so I tend to find that I stop breathing. I stop breathing yeah. for a while. The next thing I have to yeah, take a big one in because I completely forgot about breathing. Yeah, me too. Have that you ever? Me. You ever been so focused on the on your racing on your driving that uh, you realize that your mouth is hanging open and your tongue's hanging <laughs> out and you're like, how long has that been going on? Okay, our resident mouth breather. Biting my lip is the biggest one. I look KR's back at focus the VOD. Face. <laughs> I look back. I look back at the VOD and I find I'm like gurning, like as if I just dropped a shit ton of MDMA or something. I, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, when you're in it to win it, man, you know. Yeah. Concentrating, you don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, drool on the chin. Yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the uh, well, we we talking about adrenaline rush. That's why we love this shit so much, man. These big races, man. I mean, you jump into a Mazda Cup race or something like that. But I mean, these Sunday races, the strength of field races, man. I'm telling you, when you're going for points and it's a big strength of field, and you got like the number eight car or something. And you got You want to try to do well? It'll kick you, man. That that adrenaline will kick you. And um, yeah. I think that's what's so much different with iRacing racing than any other type of game or simulator. Uh, a lot of people play like you know Counter Strike's a really huge, uh, popular game because of the adrenaline. I think is because those players go through, and uh, you're so in the zone that it's just so competitive. And that's why uh, we have such a passion for it. Yeah. And then um, oh. you end up having to alt F4, and then you're like, ah, and then you get really mad. <laughs> and furniture tends to break. Yeah. Oh, there seems to be a solution a solution brewing up in the chat. Uh, Jody Amber said, I can start a Crypt TV yoga channel for relaxing <laughs> after a race. <laughs> only, if it's a, only if it's a full body live video feed. Then I'm up for it. Usa. Uh, so our next group TV hangout is going to open with yoga. Yeah, we'll have to make sure we're not captured just in case, you know, some sort of hands wander and shenanigans. Just just pictures of Jody doing stuff and then we'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. We're doing our Grip TV calisthenics, guys. Everybody do your calisthenics. Jess Baroni's getting loose. Jody'd be like, "Can you feel it tightening up? I bet that feels much better now than it." Yes, it's it's much better. It's now. very tight right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and a Grip TV yoga pants will be available. Oh, also that does bring up on the uh, sp on the uh, spreadshirt uh, spreadshirt site. We do have T-shirts with the new logo, so check it out. And I'll be updating some of the phone cases as well. Uh, so uh, when you're doing your yoga, you can have your Grip TV shirt on, and coming soon, Grip TV yoga pants for Jesperoni. Uh, how, what was the last time you cleaned that floor, Jesperoni? Uh, he's, he's, no, he's, he's licking his it. Right now. He's clean enough to eat <laughs> off of. <laughs> I've got so much energy now. <laughs> look at all, look at all the. Yeah. You have lots of room for activities in that kitchen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so if if this does happen, Jesper only will be playing with like with needle like Araya Stark did. <laughs> Jesus. So so uh, you're no longer right Jesper only. You're Arya Stark now. Good job. Good job. What uh, was what your favorite scene from that uh, show, Jesper only? And you can uh, reenact it. Oh well. Uh, uh, next season, I'm gonna be in a sex scene. What's gonna be great? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't believe it. I think it's terrifying. Oh lies. my god! All right, that should be uh, must see TV right there. I turned up my pubes and everything. It was great. <laughs> oh man, I love it. That's Jesperoni, our newest member to Grip TV. You can tell why he joined us. Oh boy. <laughs> And it's not this lighting as uh, either. Yeah, what's with the lighting, Jess Brony? Come on. Well, all my yeah. plugs are taken up by my computer. <laughs> oh, your plugs? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so get a power outlet. Yes. Yeah. Good idea. A small generator in there. A small generator. A small generator, yeah. <laughs> Just unplug the fridge, man. You can use that plug. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> I have a little uh, portable grill here, like, oh. Uh, caution, I'll flip a burger. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a uh, little, uh, what is it, The uh, that uh, boxer that came out with the uh, George Foreman grill. Yes. You can have the Grip TV George Foreman grill and be like, oh, the burger's almost done. <laughs> Time to cut the tomatoes. So, uh, real quick, Jess Brony, how tall are you? I'm 4'7". Or not five five seven. <laughs> ah, four seven. Five, seven. <laughs> four seven was like take a space answer, you fucking midget. <laughs> so so all right. So the, the question in chat is uh, who's the shortest Grip TV member? And it sounds like it's going to be Tubsy. Yeah, at he is. five six. He is the yeah. official lumper of the clan. Yeah. Or That's JP, are JP? Are you pulling the fast one on us? How tall are you? Uh, well, I, d I can't uh, say how many that is in inches, but I'm 186 centimeters. The hell does okay. that mean? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Well, well, we got like five for ten ish, I think. Yeah. 186 centimeters? Yeah. KR, KR doing the conversion? Look at Oh, he's six foot one. Six foot. Six foot? Six foot one, yeah. yeah. You're tall. How tall are you, Matt? 5'11", 5'10". Hey, there you go. Not quite six feet. No. Yeah. If only I would have breastfed more, maybe I could have got to six foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can confirm that doesn't work. I was breastfed for a year and a half. Oh, <laughs> oh a year and a half? Yeah, but it, yep. was for, it was for your mother or your father doing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It, it makes a difference, trust me. <laughs> Have, has anyone ever seen the kid that can walk and just help himself right to it? I mean, come on. At some point, you need to knock that off. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Man. The dude's 15. He walks right like, up to his mom. He's like, like hey, a mom, buffet. I'm hungry. Bitty. <laughs> Christmas. There's a sketch on Little Britain of that, and he's like, uh, Bitty. And she's going, no, darling, no, Bitty. Eat your cereals. Bitty. <laughs> and he's going, okay, mum, will you do it? And it's like his, his nan comes out and gets a Bitty for him. <laughs> So his mum and his mother oh, is wet nursing him, and he's about 40. He's fantastic. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Announcement. Yes? We will soon have a shared Grip TV Nation nipple for us to, all to nibble on. To suckle. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, we will Suckle, won't. yes. And we'll I be selling Grip TV anyway milk. Near the most of you reprobates have. <laughs> you can buy the Grip TV uh, breast milk in uh, half-gallon half cartons. Coming soon. Don't worry, we won't let John package it for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, like boy. Uh, <sighs> We're not well, responsible for any crashing tendencies that this milk makes you do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, what kind of races we got going on today? What do we got going? What are you guys doing? Anybody? I'll be streaming after this. GT3? Uh, uh, well, it's... It's like we just missed the first one, haven't we? So I'll probably catch the one in two hours, and then uh, I'll probably end up doing project cars with the old wankers later on who oh. we end up spending two hours trying to get races sorted. Oh. <laughs> in Steam project issues. cars? Yeah, I'll do that, and then I'll go back to uh, a bit more high racing after that then. There you go, project cars. Look at that. Jess Barone, you got anything going on today? Uh, I work today, so I might stream really late some Dirt Rally or... Some random games. Okay. Wait, you worked? Yeah, I work at a Thai restaurant. You pay for, a Thai you pay for restaurant. Rent. Don't tell lies, you're going like, to pay for it. You eat Thais? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you wear Thais. Why are you eating it? 
Yeah, most people Ooh. go to Bangkok for that sort of action. The bow tie <laughs> is uh, very succulent today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, garnished with a, a little bit of cilantro and uh, daikon radishes. <laughs> <laughs> Served with a side, right. size, a side of garlic ginger sauce. You really are from a different fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, uh, JP, he's probably you're probably done today, huh? Are you gonna go? Yeah, I missed. Uh, sadly, I missed the Formula One race today again from uh, the 12 GMT. But uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow after the work. I have uh, some. I actually have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, there's a Finnish game jam happening. Uh, this month, uh, end of this month, and uh, for those who don't know what it is, uh, the Game Jam is a, a full weekend uh, uh, event where people are like uh, developing a games okay. in uh, 48 hours. And uh, wow. I'm uh, having a meeting tomorrow about that, and I might be have a streamer geek in there for that. So I might be uh, streaming that for the uh, for the internet. Okay. But yeah, after that, I will be streaming tomorrow. Game K K I'll, I'll be in the pits. Huh? I'll be in the pits as always. Although, uh, now nah, you're doing it, good. Uh, I actually hadn't been in the pits until last night. Last night I was in the pits <clears throat> for every race, except yeah. for the street stock one. No, you've had a pretty good stretch going there, as far as I I can see. The last couple of weeks, you had a couple of good <clears throat> good Mazda races. Yeah, so there you go. Strength of field races today include GT1. Advanced Mazda, other things. Hope you guys join us. Epic music incoming. Whoa, oh, that was epic. Epic. Well, <laughs> thank you guys so much, and thank you to Jesperoni, who's gonna make a grand exit. <laughs> it's not, it's not over no, yet. No, no. He's like, I'm out. He's oh, like, yeah, I'm cool. out. He's like, That's and this is Jesperoni at the Grip TV Hangout, doing what he does best, awesome. just hanging out. Doing some Grip TV calisthenics. Beautiful, beautiful. Hanging out there. Yep. Wowzers. Hey guys, go check out the Twitter, Grip TV Live. Go check out the Facebook, Grip TV Live. And the YouTube, Grip TV Live. For hangouts and broadcasts, don't forget to go to griptvteam.com to see the full list of streamers that now includes one Jesperoni. And we got to meet him today. Thank you guys so much for watching. For KR, Air Messi, Jess Baroni, J Plays, myself, for the other Grip TV members. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that follow button, and we'll see you in a fortnight from now. Good luck out there in the racetrack, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Auf Wiedersehen.